At California State University campuses such as San Jose State University, currently there is a vaccine mandate for students, staff, and other personnel. And now the CSU system president releasing this. Everyone returning to in-person classes after the holiday break must have a booster when eligible. All of this coming out with the latest COVID-19 variant, Omicron, causing growing concern. At CSU East Bay, I spoke with the campus president, Sandine, who says a very high percentage are already vaccinated and they feel confident everyone will also get boosted. Well over 95% of our students who are taking classes on campus have documented that they have received the vaccine, the first two doses. Um, those who have not have received exemptions, either religious or medical, and those who have exemptions receive regular testing. I think our community in particular at Cal State East Bay uh, we're very safety oriented. Uh, we follow science, we follow information, we provide information to our community, we provide resources to them if they want to receive a vaccine or a booster. And that's worked very well for us in the past and should continue to work well going forward. The University of California system also making announcements. They will mandate boosters as well for all ineligible brackets for a return to in-person instruction following the break. And several campuses, seven out of the 10, now saying that they will pause in-person instruction for two weeks following the holiday break. Those campuses, UC Irvine, UC Santa Cruz, and UC San Diego, Santa Barbara, UC Riverside, UCLA, and UC Davis. All campuses continue to require students to be vaccinated to enroll in classes and to take a COVID test on the day that they return to campus from break, regardless of their vaccination status. And for those who aren't vaccinated or people that are vaccinated but have not gotten a booster after the cutoff, they will have to take a COVID test twice a week. Teresa Estacio, Cron for News.